Yeah, and you know they pocket watching, baby. Uh, yeah, stars are out and you were super nova to them, baby. I trust you when we got nothing but loaded of faces. Oh, running now with speed. What's poppin', y'all? So it is currently like seven o'clock in the morning. And why am I up, you ask? Because I am trying to catch this sunlight so I can get these pictures. Period. So, um. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the kids. And today we're going to do a natural beat. Now today's video might be a little different. Um, you be in the fact that I'm using my back facing camera um, because the quality is better than your back facing camera. But I'm not sure if this video is focused or not. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with some primer. Are you still asleep? At seven o'clock in the morning. Or are you up beating your face? Let me know. Okay, y'all, I had to um, switch back because I can't. I just can't. I gotta see myself. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with my um I mean I ain't seen this in a long time. My black opal foundation stick. And I'm just gonna put some of that on. I do have because let me say this, I'm all over the place. I'm going with this foundation stick. Like I said, I haven't seen this in a long time. Um, I do have a video coming out that I plan on doing. Um, and it's just basically gonna be talking about like Dewey versus Matt. Um, because I do like to use different foundations for the different seasons. So I'll have a video on that that'll come out. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of avocado oil and I'm just gonna take a dab. And this is just to like evenly distribute this foundation stick out. And this is just something that I do, that I notice that works for me. So if, you know, you never seen this before, it's just something that I do that I see works for me to just like get the dewy look that I'm going for. Y'all liking this? Y'all liking this or no? I'm just taking my Pure Beige Concealer by um, LA Girl. And we're just gonna go in and conceal with this. But now, we're just gonna take this. Take this. We're just gonna take this brush. Oh, wait a minute. I missed a spot. Missed a part. A step. We're gonna take some more avocado oil. And just, just a little bit of avocado oil. And we're just gonna pat it in each section. That we put the concealer um, and y'all don't have to get specifically avocado oil this is just some of the oil that i got that i use on my skin you can get any oil if you want to use this method but i'm gonna just show y'all what it does for me and the look that it creates for me when i do it this way this is like the same if you if you watch my tutorials like when i first started youtube i will use like um what was I using? Rose oil or um what oil was I using? I was using some type of oil and I forgot the name of it. But that oil was really good for skin too. It was a body and face type of oil. It worked really well. Really, really well. So you just want to make sure that you got all this just you know what i'm saying blend it out like even if you gotta blend it through here you gotta come all the way out to make sure it's blended then please blend for your life like like your life depends on it blending even if you have to blend up into your eyelid just blend you know what i'm saying it ain't gonna hurt you want to look hydrated and refreshed that's the look we going for, that hydration. Girl, do you have my makeup? Or did you just, I woke up like this, you know what I'm saying? That's what you just what you're going for. Just wanna make sure everything is nice and blendy out, right? Okay, so next, I'm going to take 
my sponge and pretty much just blend in all the areas that I put concealer on just to make sure that it's, you know, into my skin. You know what I'm saying? Like it's pressed in. So you can reduce creasing. And this is just a dry sponge. No product on this sponge. It's just dry. But you see how my face looks. I'm just gonna press in. We put that concealer edge just to make sure it stay where it's supposed to stay. Okay. So now I'm going in with my black opal contour stick in the shade Mahogany. And with this, I'm not gonna take any oil because I already have enough oil on my face. So I'm just going to blend out the contour um, with my stippling brush and just kind of like use up some of that oil that's already on my face. Does that make sense? Okay, and if at any point you feel like, um, you know, your face isn't moisturized enough or hydrated enough, you can go in with some rose water. I don't have any rose water right now. I only use it in the spring and the summertime rose water to hydrate my face. Okay, so for this next part, <coughs> oh, <laughs> I always amaze myself. For this setting, y'all, I have some new products. Like I told y'all, I'm gonna do a makeup haul video. I have some new products. Um, is this Sasha or Ben Nye? I don't know if I'm using Sasha Buttercup or Ben Nye. The reason I can't figure out which one is which is because I have a sample. I really want to say this is Ben Nye, but then again, I don't. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Ben Nye setting powder, and if it's wrong, then I will correct myself um, somewhere up here. <laughs> but I'm gonna take that, and it's just banana setting powder, and I'm just gonna take a little bit, when I say a little bit, and that little bit that I take, I'm just gonna press it into my skin. to take um just a little bit of the setting powder and set my smile lines because I get creased in there too my smile lines and around my nose right here in these areas does anybody else get creasing right there or is it just me I'm gonna go in with my Tart palette, the palette that I be using in my mirror. Um, and I'm just gonna take the shade Angle and I'm going to use that to set my contour. And the reason I like to use this in the summertime is because, well, not the summertime, but like summertime, springtime when it's hot outside, um, is because I don't know, like this, this powder I say is just like lightweight. I don't know. I just feel like this palette is made for when it's warm outside. I'm gonna get that that natural glow type of type of vibe going on that's what this palette gives me so when i'm going for like a lightweight glow look this is the palette that i go to and i've had this palette for a long time so i'm going to do the same thing for my nose using the same exact shade and i'm just going to pat 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 it out I'm going to take um, my Aphrodite palette by Bad Heavy, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Admire right here. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of it and just put that on my eyes. Okay, 
so you see that it's just nice and soft it's a little dark i will say that a little dark um but it's not you know what i'm saying too dark just a nice soft natural brown thing going on um if you want you can add a little pink but if you want to get a little jazzy like if i was to add this color blushing right here you know what i'm saying Ooh. okay we gonna do that okay yes ma'am okay so i'm looking in this palette and i like what i'm seeing as far as like the pinks and stuff so i'm going to go in this palette and use some of the shades in here for like my blush and stuff so here's some ben nye powder i know what's for sure ben nye that i'm going to use it's in the shade topaz i'm going to take that and set that around my lips my lip area i do want this area set a little bit more because when it's hot outside i get a tad bit oily around this area so i'm gonna just take the shade topaz i'm gonna actually let that like sit and bake and i'm gonna actually take the shade blushing that i just put on my ice and i'm just gonna take a little bit and warm up my face with it. And then I'm gonna just take off some product off my brush so I could just blend that blush out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So kind of give me like a natural rosy look. And now I'm taking my mascara by Josie Moran and I'm just gonna put some mascara on. I don't know, should I do falsies for this video? I don't know. I just feel like this Josie Moore ain't really making my eyelashes pop, you know what I'm saying? Um, this Josie Moore looks like my eyelashes look good. Like, I don't ever put on mascara on my bottom lash line. Why? Because like, I just be like for what? And to tell y'all the truth, whenever I try to do that to my bottom lash line, I be getting like this twitch. Like I just be having this moment where I just feel like I have to, you see? <laughs> I just feel like I have to like blink my eye or something and then I end up messing up my mascara. So we gonna, <laughs> we gonna not do that today. Okay, just drying. I'm just gonna take this applicator and kind of like, brush out my eyelashes to reduce clumps because it has like it don't have that much product on this little applicator as it did the other way so i'm just gonna kind of like go through my lashes to kind of like separate them make them look fuller a little trick that i had learned that when you do your mascara if you want to make your lashes like look longer all you do is just take your mascara brush and you just do like this at the ends my mascara is drying up now y'all but um this is true that you just take your mascara just brush it up and then when you get to the end you just kind of like do that thing on out make it a little longer next step we're gonna go in with uh this wet and wild by fergie the center stage collection and this is to reflect shimmer palettes so we're gonna go in with that just gonna take it and use it as a bronzer um do that a little bit there. And don't think we're not using no highlight poo, because we definitely are. Okay, we finna glow up. And now I'm taking this bronzer that I've used for a long time. Um, clean color, tan, raw shimmer bronzer. Bronze up the face. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna look real sunkist. And I like to take that bronzer and put it in the areas that I contoured. I'm about to go ahead and line my lips with my favorite pencil. I don't want to be with you no more. I don't want to be with you no more. So now that I have my lips lined, I'm going to go in with my um 
my super gloss in the shade natural. To the club, it was VIP. Saw you in the corner with a sight to see. Oh, you gon' like it. When I pull up to the function with your so-called friend, if I told you you was from your girl's a team, I wish I never met you in your fucked up head. Oh, you was always on my mantle. But now I realize you was a rent To finish up this look and go catch it from my Um, the Zulu Baju is Okay, so before I set my face I just went ahead and sprayed my face with some water It's just like, it's just dead for real Just water Like I said, I don't have no rose water But it's just water Just to hydrate my face a little bit And I'm just gonna go ahead and add that highlight I don't wanna be with you no more Stop, wait a minute Don't run to me, con to me I don't want with you no more you should have just said baby wait is there anything else that i need to put on my face i need to put on some liner i guess i will as well got dropped off now you stupid ass look dumb now and now you about to have a fucking meltdown Ooh, so brown not black because the brown is more softer than the black is so you're just gonna do that all right, Pooh. So, yes, give me one second. Woo. Yes, honey. So, this is it. Get into it. Period. Okay. It is currently 8.22. Okay. I'm starting to think, was my phone saying that the sun was going to rise? Or was it just going to be like, beaming, gleaming sun outside? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to figure that out at this point. Y'all going to see these pictures. Like I said, this was a requested video. So if y'all have any videos that y'all want me to do, any looks that y'all want to see, make sure y'all leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to go ahead and get those looks to you. But how does it look? Do you can you tell the difference between like a between the other The like difference between the other looks I've been doing, matte versus dewy, um, natural versus you know what I'm saying? And if you are feeling it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, and make sure you tap that notification bell so that when I post a video, you'll be notified, okay? And don't forget to, um, if you haven't, the short version of this video is also on IGTV. I'll post the IGTV tutorial as well. Until next time. Pull up to the club, it was VIP. Saw you in the corner with a sight to see. Oh, you gon' like it. When I pull up to the function with your so called friend, if I told you you was fine, your girl's a 10. I wish I never met you in your fucked up head.